Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we will be talking about the shortcut operations. So with the shortcut operations, these just allow us to write the same thing, just shorter. So let's say we have an int var equals five. Now, most of the shortcut operations deal with reassignment. So reassignment, so let's say we want var equals var plus four. So what I'm saying right now is var equals five. I want to reassign it to five plus four. And then we can do system.out.printf percent d and print out our var. So let's run this. And we see nine at the bottom. This nine tells us that var, after reassigning var, var plus four, well, what was var before? It was five. So then we did five plus four equals nine. Nine is the new value of var. So then we print out var. If we copy paste the same thing before that, we should see that var equals five then we print out the five, then we reassign it, and then we print it out again. So if we run this, we will see five first, then nine. So if we just focus on the first two lines, var equals five, and then we print out var, we should see five. Now this is the part that might look a little bit confusing. Think about this from right to left. If we think about it from right to left, and we look at the part after the equal sign, var plus four, well, var right now is 5, so 5 plus 4 is 9. So what we're saying now is var equals 9, and that's why we get 9 for our var in the second part of the output. So the shortcut for this would be, rather than, rather than saying var equals var plus 4, the shortcut would be var plus equals 4. So plus equals just removes the part where we reassign it. So var plus equals 4 is the same as var equals var plus 4. These two are the same thing, the commented part in var plus equals 4. If you're using the same variable, then Java allows us to have a shortcut var plus equals 4. And if we save it and run this, then we will see 9 just as we saw before. So var plus equals 4, we can also do minus equals 4 minus equals four would be var equals var minus four instead of plus that's var minus equals four so that's five minus four so we should see one as our output and after running it we do see one as our output we can also do times equals four so var equals var times 4, which is 5 times 4, or 20, and when we run it, we get a 20. And we can also do divide equals, or, or divide equals 4, and 5 divided by 4, doing integer division, should give us 1, because 5 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 1, and we don't do anything with remainders when we're doing integer division, so divide equals 4 would be var equals var divided by 4. We can also do modulus equals modulus remember is the remainder operation so var equals var modulus 4 well 5 modulus 4 is it gives us the remainder so 5 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 1 so when we run it we should see 1 because the remainder is 1 and we can also we have add, subtract, multiply, divide, and modulus. There are other shortcut operators as well. Suppose we want to do var equals var plus one. If we just want to do plus one, we could do plus equals one, but Java has another shortcut specifically for adding one, which is var plus plus. Plus plus means I want to increment by one. So if we run this, we get six because five plus one is six, but Java has a shortcut for that plus plus. Java also has minus minus, which is var equals var minus one. 
and when we run it, we get four. So the special thing about plus plus and minus minus are these are the post fix operators of plus plus and minus minus. What does post fix mean? Post means that they come after the name of the variable. We have var, and then the minus minus came after. We can also put the minus minus before, but that won't tell us what it's actually doing, because when we print it out, when we do var plus plus or var minus minus over here, we'll see the same results when we print it out over here. But the difference is when we do var plus plus here, what the postfix operator will do is it'll say, let me do everything first. And by everything, it means everything except the plus plus. We're not going to do the plus plus right away. We're going to wait for it to print out, and then we're going to plus plus. So what this will do is it'll print out five because we're printing it out first. We're printing out the var first, then we're adding it. If we take this and we try to print out var afterwards, the first time we will see five still. We'll still see five because plus plus afterwards, we print it out first and then we add it. So then after the adding is done, then the second time it'll print it out. The second time it'll be six and then we will print it out. So if we run this, then we will see on the first line, var plus plus, it printed out a five because var equals five. So we wanted to print it out first. So we did, we printed out five and then we did the plus plus. So then the var is six. And then in the second line, the var is now six. So then it prints out the six. This is plus plus as a postfix operator. But we also have plus plus as a prefix operator where the plus plus comes before the var. So if we do plus plus var, what plus plus or the prefix operator says is that we first want to increment and then do everything else later rather than in the postfix we want it to do everything first and then increment. In prefix, we want to increment first and then do everything. So var equals five right now. But when we say plus plus var, we want to do that first. So we will say now var equals six, and then we print it out. And then this one, well, the var equals six. So now we just print out six. And when we run this in the output, you should see six on both lines. So let's run it. And we get six on both lines because first we did the plus plus and then we printed it out. And the same thing is with minus minus as well. So minus minus as a prefix, well, five, then we want to do minus minus first, so then it'll be four, and then we print it out. And then in the second line, we will just print it out plainly. So in both lines, you will see four, and we get four as the output for both of them. But if we have the postfix minus minus, then on the first line, you will see that we want to print out var first, and then we minus minus. So we will see five in the first line, and then four in the second line. And that's what we see when we output it. So we have a few shortcut operators that we can do if we want to reassign variables. And then if we want to add one or subtract one, then Java gives us options on how we want to do that. If we want to do everything first and then subtract, or we want to subtract first and then do everything else. But as we saw before, we don't have to follow this. We can simply just do var plus plus if we don't care about doing stuff before or after. Right now, plus plus, what it says is you do everything first and then you increment. Well, there's nothing else to do. It's just var plus plus. And same thing with plus plus var. We say we first want to do the plus plus, and then we want to do everything else, but there's nothing else to do. So if we do plus plus var, and then we print out var, we will see six, and we see six at the bottom. But if we put the plus plus at the end, we still see six. So those are the features of plus plus and minus minus as a postfix and prefix. But if you don't want that feature, you can simply just put it in one line by itself without anything else, either before or after, and it won't make a difference. When it does make a difference is when you're doing other stuff with it, like printing it out, like var plus plus. This is where it will matter. So these are some few shortcuts and features with Java. And then for incrementing or decrementing by one, we have postfix and prefix. In the next video, we will talk about more control structures that are available in Java.